recording oh. right now. Oh, you keep moving it, Budo. Come on, don't touch our props. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, my God. Okay, Mudo, sit down. It's the Brooklyn show. Oh, my God. You're going to scare Brian away. It's uh, going to scare Brian. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Brooklyn show. We got a light today. We got got our YouTube channel going on today. We got Facebook Live. And we got Brian Blessinger. Thanks for being on the show, man. Brian Blessinger. Brian Blessinger, man. Welcome to the Brooklyn show. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Where's yours? What happened to Muto? What's going on there? You got to get it. Oh, uh, I shot up. blood today? I just did some heroin right before the show. Which is fine. Obviously. You know what? Heroin addicts should just walk around with like bandages. Just let let everybody know. They should just just let everybody know. This is how I'm doing. No, but it's it's, put it this way. You know, it's, it's it's shady when you have like purple marks. In yeah. your just get a court. So just get well, like an intravenous court. Then court. you can be like, dude, yeah, I just, I I just gave blood. Yeah, I should have all over. Something serious. I needed to tap a vein. Yeah. Got to tap a vein. All right, well, I'm all assuming right. everything's okay over there. Everything's great now. She seems you know? to be in a good mood, so. Just please, I think I speak for America. Please don't lift your shirt again. <laughs> can you please? Can you, can you, oh, my God. See, you know what? That's if the problem with Angela. If you say don't do it. If you say don't do it, she does She's going to go ahead If you say don't do it, she does it. I hear that. So I want to welcome Brian Blessinger to the show. How about a golf clap, golf clap, clap. No, you don't have to clap, Brian. Just oh, clap. I don't clap for myself? Yeah, no, no, we just clap for our guests. That's fine. Very excited. I love Very it. Excited. Brian has beautiful eyebrows. I've noticed this right I got, I got them done today. Oh. I got them done today. It's yeah. so disgusting. Isn't it disgusting? You know what? You want Brian, to, I'm very jealous of about eyebrows. Time. We had an agent that worked here. Yeah. It was probably your age. Okay. Your age. And like... I would say your level of good lookingness, and you're oh, a very good looking stop. young man. Stop. But I would say he's, like, he's, he's a handsome guy. Stop. He's got right? two earrings. On Facebook, Mudo comes in, and she's like, she's like, this guy is like hitting on me. I'm like, later, Sabrina. See you later. Oh, Sabrina's. Like, this guy, this guy was like, he, he, she's like, he's hitting on me. Yeah. And I'm like, there's no way that he, this guy is hitting Jonathan on me. Jonathan doesn't believe anybody could be attracted to me. I don't she believe that for a second. Me, number one. Bye, Sabrina. Bye, Sabrina. Bye, Sabrina. See you later. Oh, it's Sabrine. Goodbye, it's Sabrine. Sabrine in Morocco, but Sabrina in yeah. France. Oh. oh. Did you know that? They have different pronunciations of Sabrina. No. In America, it's Sabrina, so I'm going to call you Sabrina. Because you said Sabrine to me. No, I like Sabrine better than Sabrina. It says Sabrina on your French ID. But and look, her French to, ID, it says Sabrina. I don't have to call you according to your identification. That's why... I'm going to go off identification. Can we, can, we, can we give Lloyd a shout out? Lloyd Perfect. is our uh, Lloyd is our uh, we should definitely DP. Give Lloyd a shout out. He's, he's our, our DP. director. Of he's our director. He's our producer. DP. Lloyd made the sign. Don't keep moving the sign. It's perfectly Lloyd, positioned for the YouTube channel. Uh, is you my grandson. Wow. Everyone's your grandchild here. He's gorgeous. Perfect. Okay. We appreciate that. So getting back. So anyway, there was a guy who like, she's like, he's hitting on me. And I go to Facebook, you know, I'm like, there's no way. I go to Facebook. I don't appreciate that. He was hitting that. on her. Like, it's 100% hitting her. 100% hitting on her. Matt DeSilva. Okay. How does this work? 99% hitting on her. I'll give him a 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. I just was like, don't know what I was doing. But I would say and he had really nice eyebrows? Is that the story? He was a good looking yeah, dude. Good, I mean, good looking. Not as good as yours. You know? Not as good as yours. I have to take my barber to task because he screwed it up. He screwed it up. Are you married? I He's married. Look at that. Totally mm. married. Sorry. So how did we meet? Let's discuss mm. how we met. First of all, we're all real estate agents. Can I just say I saw the movie Get Out? Love Which it. one's Get Out? Oh, the one that you have to go see. And I have never been happier seeing white people get killed. Exactly. Ever. Really? I would almost, you want to cheer really? for white people getting killed? Go, go to Get Out. White, I would honestly I say I've seen it. White girl. Really? I saw it on white opening weekend grandma? because that's it's important. Really? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was that uh, good. White people are crazy. I would say it's close to a perfect movie. Ugh. Really? I perfect can't stop movie? thinking about it. Pretty, pretty fucking so you're close. You're going to give it a 9 out of 10? T.S. motherfucking A. 9.5. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? yeah. Better than The Godfather? It's better. I would say it's pretty close to The Godfather. It's more really? pretty. It's not even really Get Out. Are we just Right up there. This is the movie. It's like Friday night, Friday the 13th meets like black guys? Yes. That's like what the the, the trailer uh, was like—a black not... dude in Friday, in Friday the Night the Thirteenth. Yes. Yeah, whatever that's called. Yeah, okay. It's very good. But it's got a and very you're telling me it's, social it's, message. Exactly. It's got everything. Yeah. It's funny. It's smart. It's enlightening. Wow. It's 
it's I'm brilliant. Shocked. I can't stop thinking I'm about it. I'm shocked. It's a fantastic. I couldn't. And I shocked. and I hate white people now. All right, so this is the I Brooklyn show. Hated white Bring people. it back around to Brooklyn. How do, How we, do we get that? Relate that movie. You saw it in Brooklyn? Did you see it? I saw it in Brooklyn. I saw it. I saw it at the Brooklyn Academy Academy Bam! 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 You saw it in Bam. Um, you can bring it back to Brooklyn because Allison Williams of Girls fame is in the, is one of the main characters. That's brilliant. She, she really, she's really she she's she's very hot. She's uh, pretty hot. I think. If, I mean, like in a kind of a boring way. At Ralph's in L.A. She's scary. Oh, yeah? and she's super skinny. Scary. She's like super I'm sure she's super. Oh, skinny. you see her in her underwear in the I movie. S- she's furry. Uh, she's got furry legs. Wow. I mean, I, but I'm she's scary. Sure, sure, but she's. Well, I promise skinny. me you'll never go out with a white girl. Oh, Lloyd can't come promise on, that. Lloyd. That's an unfair why, question. Why would you want him to promise you that? Because they'll they'll what they do. They'll invite you to what their. Do I don't want to spoil the movie. Oh, in the movie? Oh, I don't want to spoil just go see the movie. Let's leave it at that. You tell me the movie's that good? Oh. It's that good. Wow! All ten of our listeners are are going to go <laughs> see the movie <laughs> after this. They've already seen it, John. So how did we? Everybody's meet? already let's, seen let's it. Let's go. Right? Let's go back to how we met. Can we discuss how Brian? Can we? I'll tell you how we met. I just need to talk about it because I, I'm. Uh, it was fantastic. Isn't it? Great? It was amazing. Did you, uh, who did you see it with? I saw it with Rena Zager and Jenny Aaron. Oh, she's got so many friends. That's good. She's always out. With Are they also real estate agents? No. No, they're, all they're not in real estate. Oh, they're, they're fun. Comedians. Oh, dude, she goes to me like, because we're going to do a com. Mm-hmm. What's happening with comedy night here at the shop? That's happening. I haven't heard from you. Uh, Rena Zager you. and Jenny Aaron. We're going to gonna gonna do be... comedy show. We're, and we're going to do you know? an animal rescue. Night. She goes, she's like, comedy. We're doing a comedy show. She's like, but I got bad news. I got this friend. Oh, she, Jody she'll Wasserman. perform, but she needs twenty bucks. <laughs> Jody I'm Wasserman. Scrape up twenty bucks. But I think that's fair. I'm like, no you know, problem. You tough. tell Jody. We can scrape up. She's got a spot. Comedians just get, you know. She's like, she this won't do it unless she gets twenty. Bucks. Yeah, it happens. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get you twenty bucks, Jody. Jody, we're going to get you 20 bucks. Jody's been on. She's been a guest on our show. Can we discuss how we met? Yes, please. Long story short. There's a little bit of backstory. A little backstory. I was working for a broker who will just will leave his name unmentioned at the moment. No, I think we should mention it. Okay, fine. His name's Chris Stewart. He works <laughs> yeah. in uh, Fort Greene. Nothing wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Well, he, actually, he did. I'm about to implicate him well, in a crime. Did. Oh, oh God, I'm about to implicate him in a crime. Love um, the Brooklyn show. Do you not down. love the Brooklyn show? I love the Brooklyn show. Yeah. We were going to so find out what's going on. So we're walking down the street, walking down Cumberland Avenue yeah. in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Yeah. And we notice a moving truck. Uh, the house is actually on the market right now. It's the corner of Lafayette and Cumberland. It's the corner building, really beautiful brownstone, asking mm-hmm. like $5 million. And we see the moving truck and a door is open. And so Chris being Chris, we just walk into the building, yeah. which probably is against the law. Get up to well, the why third. Why would that be against well, yeah, trespassing? Trespassing. Yeah. yeah. So we walk upstairs, we find the it's owner. It's New York, though. I mean, it, it, unless you're matter. killing someone, you're allowed to do no that. Yeah, exactly. Especially uh, if you're killing someone. Well, well obviously. Look, I gotta kill somebody. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, well you let him finish the story. Get inside, kill him, and get out. Point being, we yeah. found the owner of Speedy. I shouldn't Speedy say that. Speedy Romeo? Well, we found oh, the it's owner. Out. Of, it's out now. We found the owner of Speedy Romeo and his entire family yeah. moving in the process of moving him out of this apartment yeah. uh, because they had just closed on a building and. Uh, Right on the corner of Classen and Green, which is technically in Bed Stuy, on yeah. the eastern side of Classen and I Green. I call it Clinton Hill, but okay. It's technically in Bed Stuy. It's sure. on the other side of Classen Avenue. I'm, I think Speed. Bedford's the divider, but we can the talk historical about that later. border is Classen Avenue, and oh, we can. Of course, I will is. go. I will wrestle you For to the death. Real estate agents like oh, to stretch like to neighborhoods and boundaries. Obviously, I'm just saying, west of Bedford, I like to call Clinton Hill. But let's, let's he continue. Likes to. Point being. Yeah. We then meet him and his parent, his dad, and his wife over at this building on the corner of Claston Green, 209 Green Avenue. Which well, what happens. do you mean? You walked in there and they were moving they out. They were in the process of like, moving out. What are you guys out? doing? We were like, what are you doing? Yes. And they were can like, we get this, out. Can we get the listing for this apartment? And yeah. they were like, no, somebody already rented it. You can't have this. So it was a rental. Yeah. We have four, we have three apartments in the building that we're moving into that we Got just it. bought yeah. that we would love for you to represent for us. Got it. Went over there a couple of hours later. And they were three really nice, really well done apartments. Yeah. Um, and at the time, we listed them for the highest price, pretty much. For well, anyone. that was like peak. I mean, it was the complete was opposite. Of, that of time now. was the complete opposite of today. I yes. mean, the market was couldn't exactly. have been hot. Late spring could've 2013, May could've June. Been a hotter rental market. Uh, May June 2013. Yeah. So I we put these two this. bedrooms on the market in technically in Bed Stuy. Yeah. For two or three. Three of them. Three. Thirty-five. 
Were they listed before? No. How were they trying to rent them? This was the first them? time. They hadn't. They had. They had, they had just closed. There. They were just moving in. They were going to put. They needed. They hadn't even thought about putting on the market yet. Got it. We had locked into it, yeah. and we put them on the market for thirty five hundred dollars a piece. And I actually met a couple of really interesting people. Uh, another client of mine who I now hate and will never speak to again. Who? Who? who, who? Talk about it. Name uh, names. Tell me. Tell um, me. His name is uh, Charles Henri. He's a French gentleman. Charles. Charles. We'll just Charles. leave his last name. He's a fucking he honestly, he honestly, honestly. We'll just leave it alone. Sound, he sounds like an asshole. I mean, Complete Charles Henri. Douche. I'm going to leave Charles it alone. Henry. Did you have to call him Charles Henri? You can just call him Charles. It's fine. You could say Charles. Yeah, Charles but I did a deal Henry. with Charles him. Henri, come over here. Charles Henri. You don't have to do that. You don't have to. You can. He'll yeah. respond. But, but you never. You were never like Charles, Charles Henri. Henry. I did it a couple times, and he sort of seemed clunky, so we moved to just. Charles. So then you were like, all right, Charles. I did a deal with him, and Charlie then Henry. I discovered after showing you the apartment yeah. that you were also in the biz, and then I met, if you recall, right. your That's cousin right. Dan. My cousin Dan, that's right. Yeah. I think I referred you to him, didn't I? But isn't he also yeah. Ari from Brick Real Estate's cousin? Yeah, Avi. Oh, his Avi. Avi. Yeah. He's married to Avi's cousin. So somehow I met you and Avi. He's, yeah, his his wife is, is, is yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, he's married, your cousin Dan is married to Avi from My Brick Real Estate. My cousin Dan, his wife is married to is, your, is Avi's is, cousin. Yes, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But Avi from Brick Real Estate, who yes. I've... I don't think I've done a deal with him, but I've met him. I've run into him. Very nice guy. Very nice Lovely guy. gentleman. Got to have him on the show. I you should definitely have Avi. Lloyd, remind me What's up, to have Avi. Who's not on your the cousin, show. but is married cousin. to your he's cousin. He's married to my cousin. Yeah. Okay. But I've, I've, he's very good. Oh, good I've, I've, I've yeah. met him. Yeah. From Brick? You've down, way down in Atlantic Avenue. You've never met him. I have some. Don't try to be inclusive in our conversation here. I've met Avi from Brick. Wait, and this is married to. And there's a lady that's also from. Brick. You have no idea. You have I no know idea exactly. Talking. Have you seen that about. building he bought next to him on Atlantic Avenue? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's a nice yeah, little, yeah, it's a nice building. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was very new to the game um, and was probably pretty desperate when we met. No, I honestly, I didn't come for off me, that I was like, dude, no, I mean, you were on, on the ball. Like, there was nothing more you could have done. I mean, I'm a pain in the ass client, trust me. Nobody true. wants to be this my broker. Okay, I'm a broker. I don't have a broker. True. You do not want to be my broker. And true. I loved the apartment. I really mm -hmm. wanted the apartment, but I didn't take the apartment because it was just too small. But you moved to Vlaco. You know, I mean, dude, at the time, I, you know, my, my wife was living like you were just moving back from LA. Exactly. I yeah. just moved back from LA, and my, oh, yeah. and my and my wife was living with my parents in Boston. Oh, that's right. Like you know, with the kids. You know what I'm saying? I was desperate for for an apartment. I, mean, yeah. I needed a place. Yeah. You know, anyway, it worked, it worked. I just couldn't. There's no way I could have made that apartment. But it was a great apartment. And yeah. you were on the ball. I really, I, I, I was. Well, I appreciate man. that. And then I tried to get Brian. I, I then went to work at M&S. And, &S, and I tried to get Brian to come and you, you work need to with understand. me at M&S. He didn't want to keep, you know. Well, I was so, I went to that opening party that you guys had at the Edge. You didn't want And I was so intimidated. I was so new to the business. You opening party at the Jonathan? Edge? When you, you were when you, intimidated, when that's you why had, you didn't yeah. come work at M&S? Well, I was so Stop. intimidated at that party. Yeah. I actually left. I, I, before even walking in. Did I invite you? Yes, you invited me. Stop it. You were intimidated? I, I, I was so so new to the industry. With those eyebrows? And those I don't even clearly. see the eyebrows that you're talking about right He's now. He's going to do it. They're sculpted. The no, but it's, but it's good. Sculpted. Because you, you told your barber, saying, look, you see what we got going on over here? Do it over here, too. the same on the eyebrows, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful Which is, eyebrows. I'm going to plug them real quick. Like the Model arch. barbers on the corner of Model Union barbers. and Metropolitan, oh, right across from Kellogg's. You old dude? Uh, they're Uzbek. Uzbek, what's that? From Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Yeah, and that's a family business. Alex, Spell big up Alex. So Spell Uzbekistan. What do you pay for a haircut over there? Uh, 17 plus tip. 17 plus, what do you tip on 17? I'm going to give him 20 at this point. I only had a 20. I just gave him a 20. 20. Yeah. 20. Christmas time, you hit him with another 20. Really? Well, they do shots. Funny. They do vodka shots at Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I just belched. They're Orthodox. Why are so expensive. They're Jews, but they're Jews, but they do vodka. Jews Christmas. from Uzbekistan? Yeah, well, you wouldn't think. I never heard of that. You no. would think. Well, I don't even know where Uzbekistan is. It's, it's in, in the in middle. In the middle of it's what? In Uz it's in Fucking one of the stands. Nowhere. Yeah, in the middle. It's you in the middle of the stands. Tajikistan, Tajikistan is to the right. Kazakhstan is to the left. Uzbekistan is in the middle. You know. It's where all the stands are. It's right there in the middle of all the stands. Yeah. So it's near Pakistan? 
It's a north Where? of Pakistan, it's not north of a little Tajikistan. west. Tajikistan is it near Tajikistan? It is directly west of Tajikistan. I love Tajikistan. If like my Tajikistan. good friend Joel Rapp, good sandwiches. You walked from Tajikistan to Turkey. Tell me about yeah. it. You would have had to walk across Uzbekistan. Do they wear shoes in Uzbekistan? Uh, you, it's a it's a necessity because it's fucking cold. It is cold. Oh, it's cold. Fucking brutally unpleasant. Like cold. wow. Speaking of cold, dude, eighteen inches of, of snow tomorrow. It's yeah. already been cut in half. What the it's fuck? It's down to 10. Oh, really? Oh, it's down to 10. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, they give you a 10. New York 1. Rebecca Shaughnessy. Uh, they give you a 10. Rebecca Shaughnessy. She, yeah. she cleared Flying it up. Flying bastards. She said, look, I hear, I know you heard 18 inches. It's bullshit. 10. We're Still, gonna 10 end up with like 2. 10 is a don't go to work tomorrow. You think yeah, 10 is not going to work. I, I think that the well, only, only, only get 8, <laughs> we're opening. Lloyd looks very upset. Look, 8 inches, we're opening. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. If you are very bad at your job, being a weather person is a great industry to be in because you can be wrong every day and still go to work the next day and nobody cares. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm sure to certain I gotta go into you're like too wrong all the time. But you just look at it's the thought. It's the model. It's not my fault. It's the model. I don't think they come up with it. I think they're told what to say. Data. Data. Yeah, but like, some no, of them it, are, there's someone that's no, like, some look, of them Al are meteorologists. Some of them are meteorologists. So you're t- you're, there's a difference between a weather girl and a meteorologist. I don't know how this has to do with Brooklyn. I don't, you think anyway. Al Roker? Not that I need to, I'm not, who am I? You think you're Al Roker is looking at the machine? Al Roker's a fucking meteorologist. You think he's the guy? Is yeah, the guy? He's, he's, he's like, like, hold I on. think Al Roker is a I fucking think, meteorologist. Think you think so? Yeah. Lloyd, are you online? Can you look this up? Is Al Roker a meteorologist? Lloyd's our researcher, our photographer. Tager's going Tager reached for the phone. You're like, good. You know what I mean? Roker, I mean, yeah, I think he is a meteorologist. Point he being, might, he might be How's the difference like between a shrink and a psychiatrist? What's the difference between a shrink and a psychiatrist? Well, one can give drugs. Psych- Psychologists Psychiatrist and a... Psychiatrist Psych- can prescribe drugs. One of them can give drugs, yeah. Psychiatrist can believe. Oh, exactly. Well, like, come over here. Weatherman. He's Weatherman. not a meteorologist. But he's not a meteorologist. He's not a meteorologist. He's, he reports the weather. He's a personality. So Al Roker gets his data from somebody else. That's, okay. That's what I'm saying. Let's Al put Roker a pin in that. He, he, he gets his, the time he gets like, his weather from New York like, 1. The maps. He's not studying the radar maps and all that shit. Either. No, he just gets the, he gets a readout. He's so let's bring it back to real estate, all right? And let's let's discuss what's going on with Street Easy. Oh, right. I the whole Street Easy worth nonsense. discussing. And it's funny that you showed me because I was logged in and I was looking up Street Easy and I didn't notice any difference. Right. So... If you're logged in, they don't do that. Right. So if you're an agent and you're logged into your agent account on yeah. Street Easy, yeah. you will not notice the effect of the Premier Agent program. But if you are logged right. out, Joe Schmo looking for a house, you will no longer be given the listing agent's information in the contact agent box. It now says contact agent blank, and you pay, you write your little message. I love this property. I'd like to get some more information, and it sends that email to. The, to Joe uh, Schmo. To Joe Schmo. To a pardon my French, but whichever fucking dickhead yeah. paid the most amount of money. How much are we talking? Like, what, how much are they paying? Yeah. I have heard $6,000 a month Six to dominate month. 20% of a zip code. I hate real estate. Six grand to dominate I hate 20% so the wind is of a zip code. I, I'm just like, that's oh. like a dumb. I think I just, I'm just trying, For a I'm month. trying, I'm trying to verify the funds, right? I'm trying to make that sound like a good investment. I mean, especially in this market. So, like, you need if you're I doing understand. six grand a month, you need to close you at least do two deals. A deal every three months. Oh. Two deals one every deal, three months. I mean, I'm just saying because figure you're making like what twenty grand a deal. Right. So one deal yeah. every three months. You're that's zero. You paid eighteen thousand dollars for oh, the privilege that, of getting that's what I'm saying. That's the buyer. What I'm saying. Like, at a minimum, if you if you're paying six grand a month, you better close one every three months. And we or all you're know just how hard it is closing, yeah. a, closing a buyer. A buyer, a buy side. I had, th- there were a few years Why, ago. Why, Jonathan? What's that? Buyers are liars. Buyers are liars. Buyers are liars. Somebody's I love you. that. My brother is calling me. Hold on, let's, let's answer. Let's, let's answer, shall we? My brother. Speak. Yeah. Hey, bro, you're, you're on the Brooklyn Show live. Fantastic. Hey, Kyle. Hey, hey Kyle. and you know what? And then, Kyle, you got Brian Blessinger over here. And, and, Noted and, uh, Brooklyn real estate expert. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle, you're you're selling your house in uh, in in Newton, Massachusetts, aren't you? Oh, Newton, I know where that is. Uh, I am, I am. As a matter of fact, I, I was calling with a uh, for some real estate advice. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, you have you have quite the panel at your. Mm-hmm. Uh, now your is the time. Don't no, ask me any. No better moment. So my my um my house in the suburbs of Boston in Newton. 
is uh, supposed to officially go on the market on uh, March 22nd. And it was in the market on, in the fall, uh-huh. and we listed it at 1395, but we didn't get any, um, any bites on it. Had nothing. Market. In November? Um, Wait, it was well, November though, right, bro? You listed it in, in it was, uh, October? It was market kind of, uh, I think, at the end of September. Right before the election. Off. Remember that like, things, things were frightening in, in the sale. But still, it's true. It, it's was, true. it was dismal. Nothing. Crickets. Crickets. We, it- we listed it um, before then, about two and a half years ago in the spring. Uh-huh. And we listed it at 1395, and we had it under agreement at 139, and then my whole family told me they didn't want to move. So we essentially derailed that list. So we, we've had an offer of one three nine. Wait, you had an so offer at one three nine back then? Two and a half years ago. Oh, two and a half years ago. That guy's gone. He brought him to the house. I mean, dude, two and a half years ago, uh, you know, I don't know. A lot of things were different two and a half years ago. They were. Donald Trump wasn't president. So Donald we, Trump wasn't um, even like. We're about to put it on the market again, uh, mm-hmm. March twenty second, the one three nine five. Mm-hmm. And I got a phone call from a woman who used to live in this house, and she grew up in this house. And it's haunted. And she still Someone lives grew in the neighborhood. The and she, uh, actually from my wife, oh, knows point. that we might be selling the house together. And she has a, a, a nephew who's interested in the house. Yeah. And asked me if we could do a pocket, you know, be willing to give a pocket showing. And uh, before it goes on, on the market. Storyteller. So we said, sure, we contacted a broker who is actually my brother-in-law. His brother-in-law uh, is his brother. Who is he, uh, coming up thing. already, discount his it's commission. It's my brother-in-law. Oh, he's discounting his commission. Should. Yeah. So me? Kyle, with that, we're with you so far. But what is, so is the question? Do you have to pay your brother-in-law if this lady buys the house? Is that the question? No. The, yeah. Well, well no. The, no the, the question, question is, is, they made an I, offer at one three nine. My brother-in-law showed the house yesterday to them. They saw the house. They liked the house. They made an offer today without any buyer's broker. Yeah, no so my broker. only real commission is my brother-in-law is discounted to about a point and a half. And. Wow. They're you beat family up over there, don't you? Beat them up. Point three, three five, and we pushed back, and now they're at one point three seven five. Whoa! Uh, take it. I told you, take it, dude. I told you, take, take one three seven five. What's the panel say? Take it. Yeah, take, take it. it. I, that's what I said to you. That. I said, I said, I would have just been like one three seven five. Let's fucking drop the contract. Take it. They you are were... asking us to pay for their their. Um, they have a point lock on their mortgage and they're asking us to pay for a point lock extension which is about thirty seven hundred dollars because we would we want to close Fine. after the school year. Fuck that, that's cheap. I say the thirty seven they're not if they walk for thirty seven hundred, they're a bunch of pussies. Now you're pushing back? Pussies. I'm, I'm for thirty seven hundred if they walk over thirty seven hundred then they don't even want that. What if he they walks for thirty seven hundred? He's not walking for thirty seven hundred. I'm just I'm, I'm just saying I would just be like, look guys, one three seven five do what you got to do, but like we got to deal one three seven five, thirty seven hundred. But they're gonna be like, oh, you're not gonna pay for our extension, and that's like that's like ticky tack to me. Now, one of my concerns I is I, there's not a lot of inventory in our specific area right now. Yeah. So you We're think you can list it? Area, urban city. Right? We can walk to all the schools, and I might be am I missing out on you know the multiple offer opportunity? Look. You had it at one four, okay? At one four, you got to pay Michael and potentially another agent, right? So you're, it's not going to be one and a half percent at one four. At one four, you're going to be paying five percent, correct? Yeah. So exactly. I'm paying four percent because I'm getting I'm getting a haircut from Fine. Michael. 4%, 4% 4 4 Fine. Four percent. Four percent of one four is fifty six thousand dollars. We're at one three five. Dude, you, you're being a, you're being a cha- don't be a chaser, Frank. Take one three seven five. Right. Right. Frank. This, is, this, is, this is the offer with the point lock uh, payment is the equivalent of one point four oh six. One point four oh six. Exactly. Take yeah. take it. I'm telling you though, the I'm payment. Not your, I'm not your brother, but I say t- pay the thirty seven hundred. That's me. I mean, I'm dude, not your brother. Whatever. Who cares? You know, what I'm if you want. 
Split it with them. I mean, I there don't know. There you go. Split it with them. Oh, that's split nice. it with that's them. That's a nice idea. 1850. Split it with them, and then you know what? Give that's the nice other idea. give the other two grand to to your your brother in law. Actually, fuck that. Give the other two grand for this brother for giving him the advice. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> hey, Kyle, are you the guy that uh, takes a dump while you listen to our show? Yes, that's that's Kyle. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Yes. That is Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we may have gone off the rails. Or is this well, too much? Well, this, you know, it all ties in. It all ties in. It's like, too much. If you want to induce a bowel movement, listen to the Brooklyn show. That's, yeah. that's Good advice. Actually, it's an hey, Lord, how long have you been running? How long have we been running today? Logan. Where are we at? We have a time count? Uh, well, uh, you know what? I called to get Jonathan's opinion, but instead, I got the opinion of very, okay. uh, three very valuable. Is there anybody watching? Uh, filters. So I, I, I thank you. I feel as if I now know what needs to happen here. Yeah, no, I'm telling you. I, honestly speaking, like quickly, I would just go back to him and be like, yeah. I, I, when you sent me that email, by the way, Michael, like, he's like, like too nice a guy you got to be a dick to be a good broker in my opinion yeah and like oh. they're, they're you know this guy michael their brother-in-law who i know a nice guy yeah. he, he wrote like he was just trying to be nice like look there's a reason why you oh. know we're not accepting your offer and like we really like he just kept like saying the same thing over and over and over again so it was like a really long email and it could have been like much like quicker yeah. like no this is where we're countering you um, but Rebity, I, I would Rebity. say I would say look we got to do look, is the spice of life. At, at the end of the day you I, want a happy you I want a happy you did buyer. A good job for me though, by the way I think you did a good job at breaking them up that email nobody's talking shit about your brother no, no one's talking doing. we're not talking shit about Michael that's no. not it no not that's at not all I, I'm just I'm just saying that like he dick. was it was like a really long yeah that asshole <laughs> but the uh, you know bottom line is look dude if you get one three seven five even if you have to pay that thirty seven hundred dollars. I would give a little pushback. I would say, like, look, at split least, it. like, split it. Split it. Because that's fair. Love it. That's more than fair, and it shows them. It just it. sends split. a message. Because you got to go through the inspection. you got to go through all this other bullshit where they're going to come house. after you for money. So as long, as long as you're, like, I've done what's fair, you can look yourself in the mirror the whole way through the deal. And if they come back after the inspection and ask for way more than they should... Um, you know, you, you can be like, look, you know what? I was willing to split that nonsense with you back back there. So the fact that, uh, you know, I have termites is your fucking problem. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm just saying, you know, if they get all nitpicky with the, uh, with, the, um, with the inspection, then at least you can be like, yo, I did the right thing over here. That's my feeling. Who's I think here? you should take calls. As oh, a you know what? I, I have a lease signing now. Oh, okay. Well, it's perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Look, on, on that note, I think we're gonna You're we're listening. gonna. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Hi. Hey, hey, I'm Jonathan. We're doing. We're this is our podcast. So we're. Okay. we're Did you want to jump in? Was room on the couch? Hey, you want to say hi? Hey, you're welcome to jump in here. Yeah, I think your brother wants to talk to you. Yeah, are you okay, bro? You got that? Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. You know, we never met. I never met. I never met. I never met my client. Hi. Hi, who's this? Megan. Where are you? Who are you talking to? We're we're this Jonathan, we're uh, we're this is the Brooklyn Megan. show. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, is this is Kyle's wife. This is Kyle's this wife. This is your sister-in-law. This is my sister-in-law now. Meg, you've yeah. never seen the Brooklyn show? Oh, Meg. Apparently, now you have to. Yeah, Kyle's. No, I have seen it. You know, I watch his shows. Well, you're gonna be on it next week. Yeah. Interestingly enough. Yeah, we just Meg, sold your house, Meg, so start packing. We just sold the house. Yes. Okay. Well, I haven't even told Megan. I mean, I just got uh, a, we just got a, a uh, response. We just got a, a Oh, she doesn't even wrong. know. Well, All right, look, I'm going to let them keep going. Oh, but look, guys, like they, they, thank you for coming. Thank you for That's being it. on That's it, man. <laughs> we're, 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 We've hit time. We've hit time. We've hit it. We've hit it. With the guns. Yeah, Yo, everybody, thanks for watching the Brooklyn Show. I'm Jonathan Tager. That's Angela Mudo. Brian Blessinger. Thank you very much. I don't know if we got where we wanted to go. I don't, but you know what? We sold Kyle's house. We sold Kyle's house. That's all that matters. I feel like Kyle and Megan are still trying to get some. I shot up today. They still want free advice, but I'm hanging up on them. Thank you, Brooklyn. That's it. Is that it? Brooklyn, we out. Oh, look at that. It keeps recording. Thank you, everybody. Bye. We'll see you Thank next you. week. With the, yay.